Hi, and welcome to the 5G Technology Experience Center. I'm Ted East, leading the Nokia Advanced Technology Studio and Core Networks. And what I'm gonna show you today is how Nokia is deploying its 5G core on Google Anthos. For today's demonstration, we'll be using the Nokia Cloud Operations Manager, also known as ENCOM. So let's do a quick overview of ENCOM so we understand what we're seeing. At the top, I currently have two CAS providers, and this means that I have two different clouds under management of ENCOM. For today's demonstration, I have where ENCOM is running, and that's on the GCP region cloud, but we'll be deploying the network functions on Anthos on bare metal. To support this, I have one repository, and this is my harbor, that contains my various artifacts and images that we'll be using for deploying. So let's get started. Looking at the catalog, we can see we have quite a few different network functions that can be deployed on the Google Cloud. But for today's demonstration, we're just going to pick one. I'm going to select the CMM, which is known as the Cloud Mobility Manager, also known as the AMF. So we'll select CMM 22.2, and we'll go ahead and create a new network service. Let's give our AMF a name. In this case, since I already have one AMF deployed, we'll call this AMF2. And then we'll give it a short description. In this case, test AMF. As we scroll down, we can see that the default values that are going to be used for this deployment. We have the option here to override these values if we choose, but for today's demonstration, the default values are just fine. So let's go ahead and create the network service. Once the network service is created, we have to select which cloud we wanted to deploy on. Remember, I have two separate cloud environments under management. I have my Google GCP environment, as well as I have a Google Anthos environment. For today, we'll select the Anthos environment. Once we have our environment selected, I then need to pick which namespace I'd want to use. I can scroll in and pick an existing namespace, or I can select a new one. In this case, we'll call it CMM dash AMF2. And at this point, we're going to create that new namespace on the Anthos environment. In the Google Cloud Platform, we can see that I am currently have an Anthos cluster under management. If we were to drill down into this Anthos cluster, we can get additional information. If I click on nodes, I can see that my Anthos cluster currently has six nodes that are deployed in it. If we switch over to workloads, and we'd filter down on the namespace that we just created, in this case, CMM AMF2, I can see that the CMM operator has been successfully deployed. This is the first step in deploying the AMF application. Now the CMM operator will then begin deploying the various stateful sets that are required. This is gonna take a couple minutes, so we'll check back on it shortly. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes since we initially deployed. Let's check in on the status. If we go to ENCOM, we can see that we currently have AMF number two is running. And if we were to drill down to get additional information, we can actually take a look and see what's been deployed on Kubernetes. So if I go to Kubernetes resources, ENCOM pulls up what's been deployed on Kubernetes and we'd see approximately about eight minutes ago. And we can further validate this by going back to the Kubernetes environment. And we can see that the CMM has been successfully deployed with all of its stateful sets. If you have any questions, please reach out to your local Nokia team. And once again, I'm Ted East with Nokia Core Networks, and have a great day.